time to get up. And it is... Whoa! What is this clip? It's totally different. This is a clip about time management. And if you ever wonder if there's TMI, well, this is TMI. I have documented my whole week. This was shot a month ago. And I'll show you block for block what I'm doing during the day. Because a workshop person has asked about my personal setup and how I do things, what my schedule is. How do I do time management? And this has come up on the channel as well. A couple of comments here and there every now and then. So I thought, why not? Let's make this really comprehensive. Not just kind of talk about it, but show what am I doing? And even though I mentioned it being an FNA later on, I think I'm gonna put this into the pro tip category because it takes a while to get that schedule going, how you work things with your work and family. I think this is more towards a pro tip, but Hopefully as a student, it's helpful to kind of see into the future what you have to do to kind of juggle all those different jobs. This will have chapters, so you can skip through the whole thing into my final assessment towards the end if you want. But let's not make this so sad. Let's bring some pep into this whole story. Okay. Time to get up. And it is... Always has some water first. Can't be too loud though. People are still sleeping. All right, everything's in place. So what I'm gonna do first are critiques from five to six. That's the lens there. I'm not used to that kind of lens. The lens is usually right here for my YouTube clips. But anyway, I start with critiques and I do my workshops first, and then I do animation mentor and then the academy. Usually in that order, but kind of depends on how much work there is. Because workshops are coming in every day. So five to six are just critiquing day. So as many workshop clips that I have, I want to get to those first. And if I have still time, and it's not six yet, then I go to Animation Mentor. If I don't have time, then I do them over lunch. If I don't have time over lunch, I do them in the evening. And then I get to the Academy. And it's, I say this is the order, but kind of depends on what comes in first or where do I see a priority or what student needs to work. Critique right away. Sometimes people have requests. I need it done right now. So, but generally that's the Monday. The Monday is really heavy on critiques. Animation Mentor is due on Monday and Academy for Art is technically due Tuesday, but they all trickle in Sunday. So sometimes I do Sunday night, but it's usually weekend is really just family related. So I don't do any critique work, but every now and then, but Mondays are really heavy when it comes to critiques. And then it swaps over to Tuesday, depending on what is left. So yeah, that's what it is from five to six. Let's go. Also, before I start, this is every morning. So the routine is the mic and then put my tablet down here so I can critique on that in my headphone. There you go. And just quick, I don't really record like this. I do record like that. You just want as much light as you can have in your room so that the glare is not too, it's not good for your eyes. So as much light as you can have in your office room. It is four to six. So what's gonna happen now is that usually I stop at six and I got through all my workshops. I haven't gotten to Academy or Mentor just yet. That's usually how it goes. Like over the weekend, a lot of the workshops, they kind of pile up, but I don't wanna get to those first. So why do I stop at six? Because today's Monday and Monday is the animation minute. So I wanna stop at six and then start with that because that usually takes me an hour, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours at the beginning. I think by now, I think I'm kind of done within an hour. We'll see. Well, I've never really timed it again, but so it's a good test. So I get to that first because I want to get to that earlier because at seven, my little one gets up, the family is up, all the messages start trickling in. And this is why I get up early. So everything is done when everything is quiet. So I want to get my major things done by the time the family's up. And then I can, you know, say hi and do all the breakfasty things in the family stuff that we do. And then uh, as he goes off to school, it will be done by around 8.30 or so. I can get back to this, prepare for work, log in, continue critiquing until nine. The animation video will be done by then. I'll post it usually at 10 on uh, like an automated uh, Twitter, YouTube, schedule type of thing and uh, that's that so it is now three to six I'm gonna switch to the animation minute all right well it is 645 it's actually pretty fast for my animation minute that's it so I'm gonna go downstairs say hi to my wife and my little one's gonna be up probably in like 15 minutes he's usually punctual around seven and then uh, I will document more as the day continues yep always gotta factor in some snuggle time with the dog Hi, Andy. What are you doing? He's always looking for food. No. 
Something else I got just recently is an inversion table. And you just go back and it goes back, 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 and then you hang upside down and you can change the angle. You can have this bar here as well, where you can go a bit further. And then you hang there for a couple of minutes. Put this phone here, like that. I got my timer on my watch. I can just hang here. I should do animation lectures like this. But I like it. I feel like it stretches me. I mean, it's more like a long-term thing. I don't see how it's going to be over a couple months and years, but it's. I feel better. Could also just be in my head, but speaking of head, you definitely have to ease your way into hanging upside down. And that's the table you can see here in full. You strap your feet in here and then it goes all the way upside down. I mean, you can go all the way like this. And you can set that up at a specific height. It's very interesting. Again, kind of a long-term thing. We'll see how it goes. We are, by the way, here in the garage slash gym area. We'll see this here on Tuesday. This will be tomorrow for the exercise part of the, the daily schedule. <laughs> I want to see the video. No, I want you just to walk to the door. All right, Kit is off to school, and uh, now it's time to clean up, shower, and all that good stuff, and get ready for work. All right, all cleaned up. So it is 8.45, just switched over. Um, 50 minutes until work. Work usually goes from nine to six with a one hour lunch break in between. Because I'm salary, it's kind of like, it's a, it will be a flexible schedule, but that's technically what it is from nine to six. So I have 15 minutes, technically. So what I'm gonna do is take one of my workshop critiques and prepare them. Uh, in Premiere for a upload as an archive on my channel. So that is the next step. All right, workshop stuff is all posted. It is now switching to nine o'clock. It's time to log into work. And then that's the setup. So I'm gonna do critiques over lunch. This is the main work area, blurred out. Uh, was that confidential? Up here, I have reminders of things I wanna look at. Uh, this is what I listen to during the day. And on this is my schedule. You have the personal email and then you got all the work-related email, chat and calendar, which I need to blur out, of course. And that is that for my setup. And this is going to go until 12. So from nine to 12, that's it. It's time to work. So I do take breaks every now and then because when you see this, all tucked in, it's just too cute. Oh, hi. Oh, you're so sleepy. No. All right, well, it is 12.01. This is now the official lunch break. And uh, now it's time to get to Animation Mentor. Let's do some critiques uh, till one-ish or so, maybe a bit earlier before one. It's nice and warm outside. What is it? Let me just see, 79, yeah, yeah around the 80s. So it could be pool time, a little, little uh, relaxation dip over lunch, and then it's back to work till six. So let's take a break, quick break, grab some water, critique time, and then a little, little uh, sun little vitamin D outside. That's it. That's it for the critiques. I am done. I still got some time left. That's right. I got 20 minutes. This guy's going on as well here. Speak about time management, so I don't have to do any vacuuming, but let's go downstairs and uh, see what else I can do over lunch. It's sunny. It's quite warm out here. But that is, uh, or that was the rest of the lunch. It's very quiet. I feel like whispering right now. Don't want to disturb anybody around me neighbors but yeah that is what i do when the uh, the weather permits i open up the pool clean it up and then leave it open until six or seven jump into the pool get back out look at planes um and then usually around six i go walk the dog can't see the plane though nope can't see it but yeah so then i walk the dog come back hot and sweaty so then i can jump back in and that's kind of that yeah, so that is the, the lunch break, uh, among other things. Not eating lunch yet, that comes later. I'll explain that later as well. And that's kind of that. I could take this camera on the water, but let's go back out. What time is it? It is almost one. I'm gonna spend like another five minutes in here. And that's that, all right. A little helper robot is still going, if you can hear me. Uh, but that's it. It is now 10 past one, 13 past one, and back to work. And it's going to continue until around 
three-ish, 10 to three. I'm gonna pick up my little one from school, but the school is about six minutes away, it's super close. So that's gonna be kind of somewhat built into another break. And then I will end a bit later than six to make up for that time. I don't know, that's kind of that. So that's another step, lunch is over, back to work. Quick little break, a very quick lunch. Um, Cause I'm alone at home, no one's around here. The healthy food, the food varies. It's not always that healthy, but I'm trying to get back into shape. So uh, it is now health time. All right, time to get my little one. Ooh, it's hot, hot today, hot in the car. Alright, that's as far as I'm gonna go in terms of recording because now I'm driving. Hot. 12 minutes later, I'm back at work, but it's very hot out there. Good thing I have this. Alright, it is past six now. This is the end of the day, quote unquote. I mean, it's kind of officially when we end, but uh, you know, I can always kind of continue the evening, get reference, like if we're at the early stage of the show, can't really talk about it anyway. But it's uh, it's cool, and that is it. Now it's time to walk the dog. So after sitting and you know, taking some breaks, which actually I didn't take any breaks into the pool today, except for lunch. So whatever I say in this whole um, lecture breakdown of what I'm doing all day uh, is very loose, clearly. I don't stick to my own rules, really. Um, but yeah, so now it's doggy time, so I can go, that sounded really weird. So I can go outside and walk and move around, so I'm not just kind of stuck in here. And uh, let's go, let's tell the dog that we're ready. He knows it's time, so he goes crazy. He goes crazy. He needs it. it's time. He is smelling something. Okay, done with the walk. It's getting kind of cool, but at the end of the day, sort of gotta close the pool, put the cover over, and then it's dinner time with the family, and then more family time until the little one goes to bed, and then that's the next walk. Alrighty, it is uh, 8 16, so the little one is in bed, and usually at that time, when it's like the evening block until around 10, 10 15 or so, that's when I either, it's like family time, basically wifey time. Uh, we can watch movie, TV show, I can read, just relax, listen to music, play some games, just do whatever. I try to have evenings as kind of like the recharging um, work-life balance type of thing. Um, because I try to have it for sure in the weekends, but I try to have it as much as I can during the week as well. But today, besides airplane in the background here, today's Monday. So Monday, like I said, is very heavy on critiques so tonight I got to do critiques until 10 or 10 15 usually around 10 that's when I stop so that I'm going to bed between 10 and 10 30 so yeah so now it's a critique block evening session all right that's it it is 10 so I'm actually gonna stop is it 10? And I'm gonna go down and go back to my uh, inversion table, do one more hanging, a couple minutes, and then that's it. It's time for bed, kind of relax, and tomorrow morning I'll see you again at 5 a.m. Good night. Close to five. Good morning. Well, it's five o'clock. Time for some critiques. I still have some academy stuff to do. Otherwise, in the morning, it will be you know, whatever leftover critiques that I have, one or two, and then it will be working on the channel. So recording things, preparing things, re reviews, whatever I can do in the morning until the uh, family gets up. And then it's kind of the same schedule as yesterday. So right now, critiques. And if there's some time left, then preparing for the channel. But today's also Tuesday. That means Tuesday is exercise day. So around seven, I'm gonna start exercising. But let's start the critiquing block. Well, it's seven, it's time to exercise. So that goes probably until 8.30, including the stretching and all the being done with sweating and potentially even showering. We'll see how long today's exercise is. Uh, almost done with this program. And then uh, it will be time to log into work, maybe finish some critiques uh, and that's it. So now it's exercise time. So it is 10 past eight. That's 65 minutes, 66 minutes of exercising plus stretching and realize that I uh, sell selected outdoor walk instead of uh, weight exercise, which does make a difference. I can film the watch. You always learn something new. So now I know for next time. So like I said, this is now 11 past eight. So I freshen up, take a shower, probably log into work probably around 8.30 or so, just in case. Um, might check out some critiques and then start working at nine or a bit earlier. And then that's day two, Tuesday until lunch. All right, it is 8.31. Uh, I just logged into work, but just before I start, I'm actually gonna quickly upload a workshop to the channel as one of those uh, workshop archive posts. Uh, and that's it. Check out all the little things and messages and all that good stuff and then start working till 12. All right, it is almost 12, so it's time for a break. I'm gonna go outside, it's probably it's nice and hot, get back into the water, do one or two critiques. I got some academy stuff I gotta finish, and then I wanna edit some uh, YouTube clips, and that's kind of that for my lunch break, and then back to work at one. 
You know how this goes. This is now at one o'clock back at work. So this is the usual update of this is the lunch block over and now um, the work block continues. So this is going to be from Tuesday till Friday, fairly the same in terms of mornings, lunches and into evenings. It's usually the mornings that are a bit different uh, and then Saturdays after the weekends are totally different than during the week. But that's it. Let's get back to work. All right. So it is six. It's uh, time to end the day and uh, I'm going to walk the puppy. Puppy is an older dog now, but I'm going to walk the dog and then come back after some dinner, family time, and around 8, 8.30, you're actually gonna watch a movie, which is actually homework it's for reference and studying. So um, that's the end of the day. Uh, I have one more critique to do. I'm gonna pack that in uh, today. I also posted a clip, which I've been editing and I finished over lunch actually a little bit. And that was today's today's work, I guess. Tomorrow morning, a little bit different. Tomorrow morning, I have lots of Q and A's. Uh, actually two in the morning and one over lunch. So tomorrow is a busy school day. And um, that's it so far. I'm gonna do what I just said I would do. And uh, I will see you probably at 10 o'clock from my good night blog post. And um, that's it. All right, he's ready to go. Sniffy, 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 sniffy. All right, well, it is almost eight. I'm gonna go, I set everything up here for my, my projector, my home theater. So I'm ready to watch my homework movie, but I gotta put my little one to bed. And then uh, that's that. That's my probably eight to 10 block. How long is this movie? An hour and 30 minutes. So actually a bit sooner. So I might even go to bed early, who knows? But that is the plan for the evening. And then I'll get up at five, quarter to five tomorrow morning again. And that's that. So I'll see you tomorrow for the Wednesday block. I'll Unless I record something at 10 to say goodnight. I might say goodnight to the audience and then that's it. All right, see you later. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 9.30, movie's done. It's good stuff. Um, other than that, I think that's it for me. I wanna go to bed, I think early. Kinda snuggle up with my wife, talk about the day, recap some things, and um, probably go to sleep around 10, to the usual 10.30 or so. I don't know, for me it's usually between 10 and 10.30. But that's kinda that. Get up at five and uh, a new day awaits, quarter to five. Tomorrow is, like I said before, um, school heavy. Lots of Q and A's in the morning and over lunch. Other than that, so more work and that's it i will see you tomorrow morning good morning it's wednesday morning let's go so one thing that happened this morning is that my wife got up also early i came back to the bedroom and he was here he is what we were lovingly referred to as the black hole because every time you come past him you just have to snuggle with him and the lights were off and i actually spent about 15 minutes in here granted i was also chatting with my wife but now she left and i spent another five minutes just snuggling with him so he frequently derails the schedule every time you see him and he just wants to continue sleeping that's why he's kind of restless but you just have to be with him and snuggle with him okay yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Reposition, going back to bed. I'm gonna try to go back to critiquing because it is 6.12. I have a Q and A in 18 minutes. He's just too cute. I gotta snuggle with him all day. I might have to do a super cut of all the snuggles. Yeah, he's getting ready to nest. I have to admit though, sometimes he's actually not coming to snuggle. I come to him and I kind of bother him. Yeah, I'm back. He's too cute. He's cute. He's cute. Yeah, he wants to so go to sleep. So go to sleep. Mm. He's always warm and cuddly. Yeah, he's just waiting. Anyway. All right, I'm gonna let him be. I'm gonna go back to work. All right, it is eight. I just had a Q and A from six thirty to seven thirty at the uh, academy, but we actually went long. Was this the last? Was the last class? The class ended, so we just kind of kept talking. Great group of people. I always love. The last class is always tough because I don't want to end it. But people who take my class also know I talk a lot, so it always feels like it never ends, I guess, for them. But it is seven fifty nine. I gotta stop because I have now a Q and A for an hour with the academy, and then work starts at nine. So again, this continues my documenting of the day today. Again, like I said, it's very heavy on terms of teaching, but I'm up to date on critique. Is it one, one more critique, but I'm other than that up to date. So I can also do some uh, more channel stuff in the uh, in my almost free time. Today's a tough one, but um, I'll sneak it in there somewhere. And that's it. All right. So I'll see you at 12. All right. It's totally redundant update, but you know what my day is. But I just finished the uh, Academy Q&A. The next one is at lunch. So it is now three to nine and I logged into work. So now it's work time. I mean, how can he concentrate when he's just 
always there. Where did you go to sleep? Oh, so sleepy. Alrighty, it is very close to 12. I'm gonna post some stuff on social. I'm gonna release one of my YouTube clips. Uh, this time it's an Art of Review. It's uh, for Castellania. And uh, right at 12, which is coming in a couple minutes, the uh, Academy Q&A from 12 to one, kind of a lecturing, posting things. And that's kind of that. After that at one, back to work till at least six, taking the puppy out, it's kind of usual schedule. And uh, yeah. I'll keep you uh, informed about the rest of the day. All right, Academy Q&A is done. This is the block from 12 to one. And now it is one week downstairs, uh, grab something to drink, refill my water bottle, always hydrate, drink a ton of water during the day. And um, then the afternoon block um, happens until around three-ish and I go for lunch. I'll talk about that later, why I have lunch so late, um, but that's it. So that's my uh, afternoon block till the evening. And then time to take the puppy out. <laughs> another walk and then all my uh, my evening family time and then we'll see what i do in the evening maybe watch some stuff not sure yet if it's gonna be something for the channel watching a tv show i have on my list there is galaxy's edge or Oculus game uh part two or episode two where the second part is out star wars game i want to play that as well it's a lot to do i'm not quite sure yet uh, but we'll see that's the plan for this afternoon and tonight Alrighty, it is five past six. It's time to go. Day's over, so it's the puppy walk time. And he usually knows, usually knows what's going on, but he can't hear me. But if I do this, he usually knows that something's happening. Not today. Oh, okay, because he sees. Oh, no, he just looked around the corner. It's cracked me up. He just saw a dog again, how he saw me. Yeah. He's ready, let's go. Finding different angles in the same office. So it is now past eight. The one is in bed and we are going to watch Star Trek Lower Decks. Gotta watch that, I so love it. And uh, we finished Lego Masters. It's very cool, a little family time from like six to eight with the puppy. Speaking of which, that's probably gonna be it tonight after Lower Decks. I might do some editing, maybe half an hour for the channel, maybe but it's probably gonna be just relaxing, watching something and then getting up tomorrow morning. So that is that. Alrighty, watch Star Trek, which was awesome. Red X is great and did some extra work. Um, it's kind of that, it's about 10-ish, 10-ish, so it's time for bed. That's the usual, the end of the block and then get up tomorrow morning, do some editing, maybe critique, I'm fairly up to date. So it's mostly gonna be editing for my channel and then it's Thursday, that means exercise time at seven, seven to eight, maybe 8.30. And then um, extra, some extra work, whatever I can pack before work starts at nine. And then it's work day and that's it. So have a good night and I will see you in an edit cut <laughs> tomorrow. All right, Thursday morning, 10 to five. Let's go. Alrighty, it is 7.06. I'm done editing and now it's Thursday morning. So as I said before, it is time to exercise. It's not a good day today because it is leg day. Can't skip leg day though, but I'm not a fan of leg day. So that's gonna continue <clears throat> until, until maybe eight, really like an hour, an hour and a half, but I think today's a bit on the shorter side. And then I'm gonna finish this up, publish it before nine, hopefully and then start work. So that is the Thursday morning block. Although I just heard my little one get up. So I'm gonna say hi, snuggle a little bit. So it might shift a bit later, but that's the plan. All right, see you in the next block. All right, that was it. It is a 29 actually, 75 minutes of um, exercising and stretching. I don't like it, it's leg day. I, I don't like leg day. And that's it. Um, I'll have some more thoughts on my schedule in terms of exercising and all that stuff, but that's at the end of all these compilation block clips, whatever. Uh, little one is out. So I'm going to kind of sweat it out. It's going to take a while for me to stop sweating. So I'm going to keep editing like another 15 minutes, then hit the shower and then it's going to be nine and the day starts. So it's, it's again, fairly scheduled this morning. More thoughts on that again on the schedule after uh, this whole compilation towards the end of the clip. And that's it. So yeah. Alrighty. It is 12.07, done with work, it's lunch break. I'm technically alone besides the yapping dog. You're probably gonna hear him again. Uh, wife is out working, kid is at school. So I'm gonna use lunch to catch up with some critiques. Uh, I just, yeah, probably critique time for the academy. Uh, there's a workshop that just came in, which I'm gonna do as well. And then if there is time, I wanna take a look at this. It's just arrived today in the mirror. Hands Labyrinth, Art of Book, looks awesome. Take a look at that. 
a review will come in the next couple of weeks on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Wednesdays are reviews. And that's kind of that for our lunch eat stuff. So yeah, kind of reviewing a little bit, shouldn't take too long. And it's kind of relaxed, recharge over lunch. Um, it's not that sunny or hot. So I won't be outside, just kind of relaxing here, snuggling with the dog a little bit. And then get back to work from uh, one to six. Lots of meetings today and stuff to do. Busy, busy, busy. It's midweek busyness. And uh, I'll check back in uh, around six, maybe after six. And that's that. All right, that's it. I'm in a little break. One o'clock. Get back to work. <laughs> Not much to say. Uh, yeah, let's get back to work. Again, more meetings and more stuff to look at and it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I'll see you at six. Alrighty, it is six. It's actually exactly six zero zero. So, so picky, exact. It's never like that. This is just for this week, I guess. But uh, done with work, it's time to walk the puppy. And then what I wanna do tonight, I might have to do some more work. Actually, when I come back, I want to finish something, do some more academy critiques, but I think it's going to be a bit more mostly work till, I don't know when I'm back, maybe till seven, we'll see. Then dinner, family time till eight, 8.30, something like that. And then I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. There's some stuff I want to watch, Primal I want to watch, um, catch up with my wife. I know, like some family, wife, evening plans, nothing huge, what else? Although there is a new episode of Lower Decks, so I might also watch that one. Not sure yet, so we'll see. All right, it is eight past eight. I want to say can I do a little one um, potentially change of plans. I don't think I'm gonna watch anything tonight. Uh, I still gotta catch up with some critiques and there's something work-wise that came up today that I need to have done for tomorrow. So I wanna make sure that I'm gonna finish that tonight and not tomorrow morning. <laughs> and I think I think that's that. Slight change of plans. Uh, we'll see, eight, I might be done by nine. Maybe I can squeeze in an episode of Primal or maybe Lower Decks, we'll see. It might be more critiquing work tonight instead of not. We'll see, but that's that. And then probably do another recording at 10 just because I'm documenting every block, quote unquote. And that's it. So I'll see you potentially at 10. So I just said that I'm gonna work and then my wife surprised me with uh, wine. So that's her business. And uh, yeah, so it might be slightly derailed. Maybe, I don't know, maybe just finish this and keep working. Like I said, my, my uh, time management skills, you know, need improving. Well, things got derailed a little bit. Uh, <laughs> With some more wine, there was some lower decks, there was some chatting with my wife, um, but I still got some work done. I just left it on because I want to film it with this in the background. Got some work done, some academy, but it did push my um, part two of the camera series to Saturday. I won't have time to get to this uh, tomorrow morning. So that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> Things like this happen and then uh, you know, the schedule gets shuffled around, so it will be published on Saturday. But now it's time to go to sleep, and uh, yeah, I will see all of you tomorrow. Good morning. Well, I'm glad I don't have to exercise today, because the dog decided to jump into the bed at 2.56 in the morning. So I was deciding to actually get up, but that would have been around five hours of sleep. I thought I'm already awake, because it really woke me up. And then everything kicks in, and like I'm, I, my body tells me to get up and go pee and all that stuff. So I don't know how fast I fell back asleep, but it was definitely a big break. And then back to sleep, it's just more like a snoozing thing. And then I still get up at quarter to five. So yeah, that can happen. Um, that's a long story about our dog because he can't be somewhere else alone. It's a packed dog and he just needs to be with people. So uh, he's always with us in the bedroom. And this is the only thing that keeps me from sleeping. Otherwise, I sleep fairly well. I'm just a light sleeper because of kids and now the dog and stuff. And I have stuff um, that I will read you actually about sleeping really well. And I sleep great. I can't hear anything. It's great now. I mean, I hear enough that I need to. But the dog jumping into the bed, that's rough. It's a rough one. So I can foresee not too much tonight in terms of movie watching, or I will, and then I will sleep in on Saturday longer than usual. But more about that again after this whole, all of this, because I have a bit of a uh, like disclaimer, clarification, variation of how my schedule is during the week. But instead of talking to it now, I'll use that at the very end. Anyway, I will see you at, well, actually right now, it's a little very early since it's five past five. I'm up to date on critiques, although I'm going to check uh, Academy. They probably came in. New ones, workshops are done, everything else is done. So I'm probably going to do check the Academy a bit and then continue editing uh, my YouTube stuff um, so I can amass those uh, posts. And then work starts at nine. Part meeting at nine is going to be awesome. 
and then the same old same old so i'll probably another do another recording at nine see you then okay that was a lie it's not it's not nine it's seven because the little one is up and uh it's breakfast time with the family and i'm definitely tired that dog that's not good but happens and uh, that sometimes will throw off the schedule so we'll see how uh, i survive tonight and uh tomorrow morning so yeah now it's breakfast time snuggle with a little one family time and uh till nine and then i get back to work all right it is nine so starting work now got a meeting it's gonna be awesome um the whole week's been great the show is going very well and um can't really talk about too much but it's going to be lots of work i'm actually going to take a lunch break maybe depends how far i'm going to get it's going to be uh some stuff i want to get done before lunch and before the end of the day so we'll see how the day goes but i'll definitely stop around six ish the weekend starts it's going to be family time and then the weekend got some plans but obviously i'll do some other blocks and film it and then you'll get the fully too detailed breakdown uh for this fna and um that's it so i'll see you at 12. all right it is 12 almost 5 to 12 gonna pick up my little one from school it's half day today for them and guess who's here always a companion but yeah that's the lunch block and then uh, i'll be back for work at one all right got a cool package over lunch cute 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 uh and that's it so at one o'clock let's get back to work till six ish or something like that and then we're headed towards the weekend all right well the <laughs> The dog is ready, it is past six now, but it is also Friday night. So I think actually I'm gonna stay home and walk the puppy tomorrow. Maybe we'll see, but wife is home, kid is home. So the weekend starts and uh, dinner time and just Friday evenings are usually just a full block of family time, including Saturday, Sunday. But I might record some, you know, like uh, maybe at 10 o'clock, I don't know. Maybe I'll record when I go to bed since Friday evenings are different than during the week. Uh, and that's it. So let the weekend begin. All right, it is 9.38 on a Friday night. The dog won. So tired. <laughs> and uh, I hope he sleeps well so that we don't wake up. But uh, yeah, it's time for bed. I'm exhausted. That, uh, what was it, 2.56 or something? The morning wake up was not good. So that's it. Good night, everybody. And uh, so no alarm clock for tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up whenever I wake up for, uh, for recovery. And then uh, family weekend, and then uh, I'll record something and I'll keep everybody updated. Alrighty, it is 10 past six early uh, in the morning, but I also went to bed really early because of the dog yesterday, as you saw or heard whatever and uh that's pretty good it's about eight hours of sleep i like it fairly recovered most of the first one up it is saturday early in the morning so i'm gonna get to some workshop critiques some new stuff came in while everybody's asleep so i don't uh, compromise on family time and then it's usually around 10 11 or so that we start doing things with the family because my little one he has his friends uh they play games online they do some facetime with their uh you know family members in switzerland uh and then my wife catches up some things so it's kind of like the morning is still kind of people do whatever they want to do until we go on out as a family so i usually exercise exercise in the morning that is usually saturday and sunday so that i have enough time to do that and it's not during the week where i might be too busy with either teaching or work so that's the plan for today yeah so let's get to some critiquing and and i'll probably record another block as i continue for this uh, detailed fna tmi heat up a movie to listen to in the background and now it's time to exercise it's not leg day so i'm looking forward to it <laughs> good exercise but i realized i really need to put my apple watch on the other wrist because of uh the buttons touching and it gets it just pauses everything and then you don't have your measurements which is a ginormous first world problem but that was today's lesson first off lunchtime <laughs> Alrighty, back from a trip. This is now 5.30. We're back home from San Francisco. It was nice. Um, actually, wife is out. The little one is busy cleaning his room and the playroom, all kinds of stuff. There are toys everywhere. So usually when that happens, uh, kind of help out with dinner, preparing things, but I have a bit of a pocket of nothing and I could do nothing and usually that's what I do over the weekend I just vegetate on the couch listen to music watch something browse online for animation stuff or whatever movies anything but some stuff came in in terms of critiques and I just don't want people to wait because when I get into that habit of like eh, maybe tomorrow sometimes that starts to push and then I get late so I have a window of like a half an hour so within that half an hour I'm actually going to post some things reply maybe even critique one or two things 
Um, so that's kind of like the daily thing of if I have a pocket of nothing, if there's anything due for someone else, I try to squeeze that in. And then the moment my wife is back, um, you know, it's back to family time. But right now, instead of just doing nothing, like really nothing, if someone has is waiting for your feedback or critiques or anything, I'm gonna post some stuff in the forums, some extra things. I'm just gonna do it right now. And that's kind of how I pick, uh, how I fill empty pockets here and there to just always try to be up to date and maximize the time. And that's that. Yeah. So pizza's coming later on. Maybe I don't see something for dinner. Probably pizza. The little one wants pizza, so that means the whole family will have pizza. Good stuff, though. Anyway, TMI. But uh, that's it. And then tonight I'm gonna watch a movie with the little one, uh, a little animated movie, and then probably a movie with my wife afterwards. And then tomorrow, so I'll probably go to bed. I don't know. I'll do probably a block before I go to bed again, just to kind of uh, document the whole uh, when when am I doing what? It's already way too long. So see you tonight. It's movie watching time. Probably some uh, classic vampire movie. I don't know if it's good. Wifey's about to come in and and she's gonna bring something. Some delicious treats. Mm, yeah. <laughs> All right. Good morning. It is 10 to 7 on a Sunday. It was not a great sleep. The dog again. This time 4.46 or something. Jumped into the bed. Why? But it should be okay. Today is not crazy. I was always in the morning, so check with some critiques just in case before everybody's up. And then actually a friend of mine is coming over today, working on a little project together. And then the rest of the day is family time. And that's it for Sunday. Leave it at that. Let's start the second part of the weekend. History in the making or not. I'm here for the unboxing. <laughs> Where's this gonna end up on? <laughs> this is gonna end up on a Friday, um, FNA about um, time management, where I will wear the t-shirt that you gave me, but I'm, I'm busy animating. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'll wear it. Okay, yeah. See? <laughs> Alrighty, well, that's it. Dimitri's gone. Uh, it took us hours for something that should just be a couple of minutes in length. Uh, we have a lot of outtakes for sure, but that was a section of the Sunday. Uh, little one is out uh, playing at a birthday party, and then the rest of the Sunday is just going to be family time. Uh, but since right now I'm still alone for a little bit, I'm going to keep on working. There's something else I want to get done uh, when they're back, back to family time until probably 10 ish. Uh, since tomorrow the day continues, new week, new work um i'm not gonna go to bed too late it's gonna be 10 and that's it so that probably concludes my weekly breakdown of what i'm doing i don't think i'm gonna record something tonight let's leave it at that and uh it's the first time i've done this interesting but let me not talk like this i'm gonna switch over to my other self recorded on this camera for the final recap all right there you go <laughs> that was it if you're still watching that was tmi for sure there was a lot and of course always busy animating. But as you can see, also busy with a lot of things. So as you've seen this whole week, just realize that it was kind of an ideal schedule because I was filming myself. I was kind of under the gun of, okay, okay, I got to film this, say when I do this. And I actually, I liked it. I was a lot more organized. It was a lot more productive. Not that I'm going to film this every week and do like a vlog type of thing. Don't have time for that. But it was really keeping me on track. The realistic thing is that you should take everything you saw that whole week, the schedule, put it into a bag, shake that bag. And that's the realistic schedule. I'm not always that organized because things happen. As you can see towards the end, the dog. You get really sleepy, the schedule shifts. There might be something with work. There might be something with a family. A, a good friend might be over. There's party time in the evening and you can't do anything the next morning. There's a bunch of stuff that will constantly test your schedule and move things around. So you have to be able to, I mean, I have to be able to do this. It's, it's a subjective thing here, but I have my schedule and I try to be flexible in terms of where I put those blocks and how I rearrange things. Because I, at the end of the day, I still got to get everything done that's, you know, on the table. And of course, this will be totally different for you. I mean, and your life is different, you as a person, your job, where you live, all that stuff. So this is really obviously, clearly, I hope it's obvious, my schedule and what I do during the day. That being said, as I said it before, this was shot a month ago at least four or five weeks. And the Academy, for instance, was at the beginning, intro and seeing some reels and that's it. By now we are knee deep in recordings because I have two classes. And one of the classes is a creature class with 21 students. The assignments just pile up. So my plan of Monday, Tuesday has now swapped into Wednesday. Like it just takes me long to critique things. So already that has changed where I do more critiques in the morning over lunch and kind of shuffle things around where I, certain things have to take a back seat. More on that later. Now you saw me exercise in 
so what I do is I do exercises on Tuesday and Thursday and then Saturday, Sunday. But I try to do all those exercises at the end of the week, so Saturday, Sunday. So I only have two days during the week where that takes up time or time away from potential critiques or something else that needs my attention. Sadly, it's also sometimes the thing that gets compromised. So I'm really busy or really tired. I don't want to exercise and I'm really tired. So then I go, ah, I'll push it. And that's one of the things I need to be better at in terms of physical health and not cancel my, my self-imposed, you know, schedule of, oh, I got to exercise then. And that's not good. I really, I need to try to stay on track on that. And speaking of health, we talked about food. We talk, I talked about food. So I have a thing where I do time-restricted eating. Some people call it intermittent fasting. I don't fast. I eat the same amount, but I have a window of around 16 hours where I don't eat. Sometimes it goes, six, I try sometimes 16 to 8 to 20 hours. I know it sounds bananas, but I feel so much better. And I've tried a couple of things where if I have such a busy schedule, like fall is really busy. Again, I have workshops, one uh, mentor class and two academy classes plus work and everything else. It's not always that busy. Summers, there's no academy class. So again, my schedule is very stretchy in terms of what is going on, how many classes, and right now it's suddenly really busy. So I need to find a way to continue to work at the same, you know, with the same energy level, with the same efficiency and productivity. So I, I try really try to be healthy. And that time-restricted eating schedule actually really worked out for me really well. I sleep really well, besides when the dog jumps into the bed. And it's something I'm going to stick with for sure. Then again, I'm not a doctor. You don't take this as a health advice. Research. I, I watch a bunch of stuff. I tried it. I tried 12, 16, 18, 20 hours. And it's great. So for me, it works. But subjective, try your own thing. Now, with all of this, because it's work, family, and, and teaching, that's kind of like the main block. The YouTube stuff, that's also something that's usually on the chopping block when I get really busy. So when things get busy with deadlines and work, like I said, I need to pull back on certain things and then YouTube would be one of them. So when you see me change my schedule or not upload certain things, it's because that's the first thing I go, I'm not going to do this because I have to take care of my health and work-life balance. And YouTube is an extra thing. So that gets cut. That being said, for YouTube, I try to do a lot of recordings Saturday, Sunday morning when either everybody's asleep or still busy. They're, my kid is like FaceTime with his friends and family members. So there are still moments where I know I'm on my own in a way. And then I start recording or Monday, Tuesday, either mornings or evenings. I just try to record ahead. So I have a bunch of stuff in my folder that's ready and also getting kind of old. And then I can just edit. So I don't have to record because the recording is tricky too because the dog howls and yaps all the time. And that's why I do a lot of that stuff in the morning in terms of recording like critiques in YouTube because I can't record up until like nine, for instance, because after seven, <laughs> there's a lot of barking. Just can't record. Although you can hear it sometimes. But sometimes I have no choice. So I try to record a bunch of stuff early so I can just edit so I can have material ahead of time. And in terms of material, I have templates in Photoshop for the thumbnails and all kind of other stuff. I have templates in Premiere when I edit. So I just record, put that into an existing file, edit, and then export. So I don't do everything from scratch. And that goes the same when I have like certain text. When someone writes and wants to sign up for my workshop, I have literally a macro. I have a, a shortcut on my phone and a macro on my, on my desktop where I can just hit that and my standard stock reply comes in. Hi, thanks for signing up. Do you have any questions about the workshop? Uh, FAQ for payments. How do you want me to do your recordings? So post with your name, without your name, anonymous, and so on and so on. So I have a bunch of stuff here on the stream deck where it's filled with shortcuts and just things where I have like Q&As, like just buttons where I don't have to remember. I know I know I could put like a bookmark on the browser, but I have everything so organized on that stream deck. I can just push those buttons for Q&As, for Zooms, for work, uh, important websites, copy paste text. It's all very organized in terms of saving time. And maybe that's a kind of a cliche Swiss thing about watches and being on time and being efficient. I know I just like to be efficient and I like to schedule things out where like there's some moments where I do nothing, like literally nothing. I just sit there, daydream or listen to music or just read a book or something. It's just, I need also just kind of that rest. That being said, during the week when it's like, it's say, let's say I'm animating something at home and Maya crashes, it happens. And I know I have a couple seconds where I'm, I have to wait. I bring up my phone and I check Twitter for things that might be helpful for animation minute or for myself, or I see comments somewhere. Yes, I'm going to say it in the bathroom. When you do your thing, I have my phone. I know it might be disgusting, but every time I'm waiting somewhere, I might be standing in line somewhere. I don't know, like anywhere where I feel like, okay, there's not enough time to do something like a bigger task. So why not just do community magic basically? So during all those little downtime moments, that's when I start replying to comments, reply to emails. I check Twitter. So whenever you see me post something on Twitter, retweet, I'm not going to say that's when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> it's also not wrong, but it's during specific pockets of time in the morning or we're lunch in the evening. And when you see it in the afternoon, it's because something crashed or I, I just have to wait for something. I try to fill in those little empty pockets with stuff that I need to do anyway and that I want to do. Because if I don't do it, it's going to pile up. And I don't want to have a whole thing in the evening or in the morning where it's like, oh, what is all this? I don't have time to get to everything. And I know this sounds really compartmentalized and scheduled and almost boring. It's not. Like I said, take all of this, shake it, <laughs> and it's chaos. And this is with a wife, two kids, the dog, 
blog, work, teaching. There's just a lot that I have going on and I like it. I like my schedule. I like what I do, but I'm also very aware that if I don't put that into a specific schedule, into a timeline, in a routine, things can get out of hand and I'm suddenly really behind on a bunch of stuff. And this is why I have a schedule like this. That being said, regardless of what I'm doing, what I never compromise on is sleep. If something happens, something with work late, something with family late, something teaching, like I'm behind, I got to teach and, and I got to do critiques till late in the evening, I will always have six to eight hours of sleep. So if something pushes, I just sleep and then I wake up later. So even though I want to wake up early in the morning to get stuff done, I need that six to eight hours, because otherwise I can't function. I'm also getting older, I need my sleep and all that good stuff. So always see like, if you imagine that you have like a block you can move around, that six to eight hours of sleep is always there. So if anything happens, it just moves around. And if that, if I wake up later, right? And I have less time to do something before work, then that's just how it goes. I'm not going to critique or do something else into like 10, 11, because that eats into work and I have work, I can't do that. So you have the sleep and the work schedule that's fixed. The sleep moves around, but it's always the same amount. And the work schedule, bam, that's that. That cannot move because it's my primary work. So everything in between, that's, as you can see, is where I start scheduling things and moving things around. And like I said, if it gets too crazy, then I got to bail on some things. Uh, YouTube, playing video games, uh, anything that's kind of personal, that goes out the window and I readjust. But work, family, and teaching, these are kind of the primary things and that really needs to be taken care of first. So TMI, again, but some people have asked for it. So hopefully this was helpful. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. It's a different kind of clip. Uh, very, very detailed in what I'm doing, but I'm very curious. Was that helpful or not? I'm sure it was too much, but some people have asked and I'm curious, is that is the answer that I've given you okay? Do you need more information? Uh, any questions? Do I need to do a follow up? I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Maybe you have questions about what I did and then I do a part two to kind of pick certain things and explain things further. I don't know. And this is definitely a longer clip. So yeah, definitely longer. I mean, putting all together is probably like 45 minutes. I don't know, like more close to 50 maybe. I don't know. But thank you for watching. If you're watching till the very end, as always, thank you for your patience. And I'm not sure if I can segue into a workshop because I don't do workshop about time management. I don't know. I do consulting as well. So maybe I'll, I'll go into time management consulting as well. But I do have workshops. Why not? Let's throw that in there. You can sign up at any time, link in the description, all that good stuff. And it is YouTube. So subscribe if you like this and you don't want to miss my uh, future uploads. Maybe hit the like button. I do whatever you want to do. It helps my channel grow. So if you do it, thank you. If you don't, that's also fine. And I'm going to go back to wrangling my crazy schedule that has changed since the last four or five weeks. I should do like a follow up in terms of crazy town. This is how I manage crazy town. But anyway, that's it. I'm not going to bother you any longer with my ramblings. Thank you for watching and I'll see you hopefully in my next clip.